Iron Road has raised 6.1 million Australian dollars through a placement priced at 64 cents a share. Shares were placed to existing institutional investors of Iron Road and new North American based institutional investors and proceeds will be used to fund exploration at the Goller Iron Project and resource expansion at the company's 100% owned Central Air Iron Project as well as meeting general working capital needs. As part of Meteoric Resources' ongoing assessment of iron oxide coal, copper gold targets in the web area of West Arunta region of Western Australia, Meteoric is preparing to carry out detailed airborne magnetic surveys on these target areas. The aeromagnetic surveys, which are subject to permitting processes normal for ab Aboriginal reserves, together with gravity surveys, will be used to define drilling targets on several IOCG prospects. Cougar Energy reported a significant milestone in the development of Australia's underground coal gasification industry, with the successful ignition of Kuniyun's coal seam at the company's flagship Kingaroy plant in central Queensland. The production of syngas has started and it is being processed by the company's gas proce processing plant on site. The company and its technology partners will ramp the gasification process up over the coming weeks. As part of Magnetic Resources' ongoing iron ore exploration in the southwest of Western Australia, the company has identified two pronounced magnetic anomalies about 30 kilometers northeast of the Newtigate town site and railway line. The new targets be bring the total strike length of iron ore targets identified at Mount Vernon, Sewell, Woobin, Dalwalanu, Jibouk, and Quaradine projects to 212 kilometers. ABM Resources has released results compiled and validated from its regional exploration portfolio and database for the Barrow Creek area in Northern Territory. Managing Director Darren Holden said the company continues to uncover exciting drill hole intercepts, indicating potentially large and high-grade gold systems in the Tanani Arunta regions. The results from its Barrow Creek project and Crota Gold project again highlight that ABN Resources has secured one of the most underdeveloped portfolios and what we believe is the final frontier for major Australian gold discoveries. Austex Oil Limited said that drilling of the Wildcat Eisenhower No. 1 well reached a total depth of 4,100 feet overnight. The well had oil shows in the Cherokee Formation between 3,970 and 4,009 feet. However, drill stem tests conducted on two intervals failed to recover commercial oil or gas. The well has been plugged and abandoned while drilling operations are underway on the water disposal well located south of the successful Clark No. 1 where testing should commence next week. Victory West Mali has arranged to raise 1.5 million Australian dollars to strengthen their cash position as it continues its exploration program of its Malala Malabdenum project in Sulawesi, Indonesia. The funds will be raised by an underwritten placement of 10 million new fully paid ordinary shares at a price of 15 cents per share to institutional and sophisticated investors, together with one free listed share option for every two shares acquired through the placement.